Brennan's instructors started back in the late 1800s, uh, manufacturing prospectors, tents, chuck wagon covers. My great-grandfather uh, started with our tent awning division and he was building innovative enclosures uh, back 117, 118 years ago from wall tents to everything in canvas, mattresses and some for the, uh, for the rail lines when they came west. And later on when the first cars were built they had an innovative tents that would uh, be constructed off the side of a car because of what is a short trip today was a couple day trip back then. There aren't many companies that are truly uh, a fourth generation family owned company. You get the feeling of uh, being one of the family when you work for them. So. Surprisingly working with family has been fantastic. We've really uh, we really get along. My, my brother's my best friend and uh, we, we work very well together. My brother-in-law uh, is a fantastic guy and uh, you know I couldn't ask for a better, a better group of people to work with. We have a lot of uh, constructive open criticism that results in, uh, in advances in technology. And everybody is on a first name basis with everyone too is uh, just typical of the sort of the family atmosphere that you have here. We have so many people with so many years of experience. This team that we have here is unbelievable for pulling off miracles over and over again. Phil Sr., as he's, uh, as he's called around here commonly, he helps us uh, stay on our toes and uh, continuously evolve and develop. Phil just decided that one day we needed to um, redesign uh, how we do things. And the engineers would say, no, we can't do it. And Phil would come back and say, I think you're wrong. Uh, check your numbers. And sure enough, he was right. We've got structures now in 90 countries around the world and over 10,000 structures in place. This front can be used for anything from churches, casinos, prisons, uh, military applications. Our product has been embraced by a number of military organizations around the world. Uh, it's the engineering that they like the most, the fact that it's immediate but it has to work. Uh, the tensioning of our membrane, our insulation package, the fact that it's aluminum. We've come up with a number of new initiatives, both in cargo doors and uh, our new TDS aircraft hangar door. It's been a very, very effective for military applications. Our structures now, thanks to the insulation package system that we have, are found in, in the high Arctic and have been located throughout the Middle East for 30 years and they've really been tested at the most extreme environments of the planet. Once it's insulated and you have that type of R value, it cuts down greatly on the heating and cooling load of the structure. It's equal or better than any type of conventional building. We're capable of putting out probably up to 15,000 square feet per day. In case of emergencies, we can always gear up to manufacture twice, two or three times that. As a basic structure, we can literally ship overnight. We draw customers that are typically in a hurry. Sprung has uh, bridged the gap between uh, an idea and reality. And what we do here is a phased development plan. And Sprung's system has fit into that just perfect. We, uh, it's got us into action quick, quicker than uh, traditional building would be and it has fit our plans perfectly to uh, cash flow as quick as we can and to use that cash flow for traditional financing in order to uh, grow the enterprise and so it's been perfect for our needs. It's a great solution for affordable dollars to have a center for our youth to occupy. This is our second one. We purchased our first sprung in 1999 and it was erected in 2000 and it was our worship center as we moved on to the property in 2000. And we liked it so much, we liked its flexibility and everything that we could do in it and around it that we decided to go with another one for our kids. Well, we're a secondary school catering for students in the ages 12 to 18, 19 years of age. In recent years we've been growing, um, we have only four years ago we only had 165 students and in the last four years we've now gone up to 220. From the costing point of view it was sort of 40% say of a conventional building. We ship cargo, any mind of cargo to all over the world and uh, we build the pallets here in, uh, for, to be carried on the airline carriers. One of the uh, advantages is that this doesn't have any poles in the middle of the structure. 
I mean, there's a, a clear facility you can work in. The quickness that they raised the buildings in short, short notice, when we needed it, it was really fast. Efficiency of this building is, is phenomenal as far as the R value goes. Uh, you can't get a, a building that has eight inches of th thick wall that's just completely full of insulation and you know, compared to a, a block or a steel structure, you're not going to get that type of R value. Uh, the wind just blows right over the top of it, the rain just runs right off of it, the snow just slides right off of it. Um, there is really no, no worry on, on the way this thing's set up. It could be 100 degrees outside or 30 below and we're still going to maintain 70 degrees in here. You know, this is one of the uh, warmest environments I imagine you could put a, a sprung structure uh, in, but we don't have problems in the winter or the summertime. This structure is, um, is well insulated. I, that was one of my main concerns. I mean, how well insulated is this compared to a traditional building? And it's just fine. We found that the R factor, the insulation, is very good. It holds the air conditioning very well, stays cool, and really doesn't cost more than a permanent building would cost to, to cool it. Students here, I mean, they, they thoroughly enjoy it. I mean, they're, they're, it's, it's uh, a godsend to them in, in so many ways because, I mean, one, I mean, when they can get out of the inclement weather um, and getting into a facility like that, we just wish to develop that and have more and more students. And the more and more students that we can have, participating and getting involved in physical activity because I mean there's so much talk about the health of, of youngsters nowadays. Sprung is good for polar air because they live they are international and that's the reason they delivered quick and even here in Holland they stood it up in a small amount of time extremely small and that went well for us I mean, the, the move over from one facility to this was uh, was quick Tamarack's a great place because it's got four true seasons. So you can ski, you can mountain bike, you can hike, you can golf, you can fish, you can swim, you can wakeboard, you can sail, and uh, you can do it all right here in one spot. We refer to them as the domes, but uh, we have five of them, and uh, we use them for resort support facilities. So we have our children's program in one, our sports and education programs, and rental retail in another. Uh, the Canoe Grill houses our cafeteria product. We have Seven Devils Pub, which is uh, a, just what it says, a kind of a rock and bar and, and place to eat. And then we have the Ops Dome where the operations management, uh, sports school, lift operators, ski patrol are all housed out of. In March of 1999, we, um, we opened up the first structure here. And then uh, later on, our business grew. So we had an opportunity to double the size of our facility. So we, we put a uh, block building in between two sprung structures and uh, over doubled our, our floor space. The sprung uh, structure has worked good for us too. I was impressed with the, uh, uh, the interior feeling. Uh, we matched a, uh, a very creative interior designer with the sprung uh, development and uh, the end result was, uh, was an interior atmosphere that really didn't feel temporary. It felt like uh, it had been there for a long time and that it will stay there. And I think that's been a reason for our success. It's a great system to work with, whether you're going to be in it a short time or you're going to be in it over a decade. This is our youth center. Uh, we're, we're a large church here in the Phoenix area. We run about 12,000 in attendance on the weekends and we needed a place for our kids. While the adults were meeting in our first sprung structure, the kids were meeting across the street at the high school. But as you can imagine, a high school is not a very conducive place to move in and out of every weekend. And with the extreme growth of the church, we needed a place for the kids. This sprung behind me is just excellent for that. There's a couple of things that's really great about them. One is, is they erect very quickly. Two is they have a really long life. Um, you can move them around if you want to. Uh, but you know they're very functional and again the most important thing for us was speed we needed to bring life to Tamarack and get things going right from the get-go 